Every year, the Interfaith Council throws a large service day for the city. It was becoming clear with COVID-19 that wasn't going to happen this year, and the city was already getting phone calls that seniors were needing help. And so community services asked if we could pivot our attention, uh, redirect our efforts, and that's how the program, at least the idea of it, started. So normally the way we work is we say yes and then figure out how to do that. And actually Care Connections Network and Lutheran Disaster Response really came in and made it possible to start. We have a funding relationship, an existing relationship, with the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, of which Lutheran Disaster Response is a part. They asked me to submit a grant proposal, which I did. And at that point, they gave us the funding to purchase the meals that we are now distributing to people that are at need in our community. I'm surprised by the need that we have. Obviously, I know that people are needy. And normally, when I think of needy people, you know, we think of the homeless or we think of uh, the hard poor. But in this case, these are your neighbors. These are people living in apartments. These are people who have lived in Huntington Beach for decades. These are people who are part of our community. So I'm surprised at the people we're connected to that may have been someone living right next door. And as the need increases, uh, so our abilities have increased, and so God's blessed us that way. Good morning Huntington Beach. We are here at the Lutheran Resurrection Church this morning and I am announcing my latest Making a Difference Award at the beginning of this year. I introduced this award to recognize people in our community that are selfless volunteers who are doing exceptional community service. And I'm really excited about this person that we're going to introduce in a moment who deserves this award uh, more than I can tell you. Uh, he has stepped up, you know, on March 16th, the City Council introduced our state of emergency, and the very next day, Reverend James Pike was on board to help us by establishing HB Connects. And with that effort, we have, you know, we knew there was a need in the community. We already were serving meals to many seniors through our senior center, but when the coronavirus hit, we knew there were going to be additional people, additional needs, and we wanted to be there from the first day to be able to meet those needs. So often the city, we have a saying, let's call James, and when we need help, <laughs> we call James. And so he has been there from the very beginning uh, during this pandemic. And so Reverend James Pike is an exemplary person to represent what the Making a Difference Award is all about. And so it's really with pride that I present this to James Pike today. Thank you. With that, here's the commendation, James. And I want you to talk a little bit more about HP Connects and everything that's been going on with that. Thank you so much, Mayor Sumetta. It's really a privilege to receive this award from you. And really, I have to receive it on behalf of everyone who's been a part of this program. It's been a really extraordinary partnership uh, that began with Lutheran Disaster Response and Care Connections Network, which is a nonprofit in Huntington Beach working to help seniors age well. Um, and so really that became the seed money that allowed us to provide the bulk of our meals and then also provide some resources for freezers, supplies. Uh, we also provide toilet paper and uh, wipes for our seniors so they can have those supplies. Uh, also through the Huntington Beach Interfaith Council um, and really a long list of volunteers who ended up coming alongside us. Um, so what happened was we were working with the city through the Interfaith Council for our annual service day and then the pandemic. Uh, came forward and there was a new need that was established and yeah it's been a great effort we've been surprised at how people have responded to us and um, you know we've done probably I'd have to see the latest number but I, I know over 5,000 meals Waste Not OC has been a great partner in providing all the food mm -hmm. so that's food that would have been uh, taken into solid waste and now has been repurposed in restaurant kitchens uh, to be able to provide nutritious meals to our seniors so we've been able to do uh, meals wellness calls uh, and it's really been um, remarkable. This is an opportunity to nominate others uh, who may be worthy of this award and it's our community so I want to encourage everyone who's doing community service to keep doing what you're doing. 
because you're the one who's making a difference. My hope as you wear this, people are going to ask you about it and it's going to inspire more people to know about the award, know about nominating people for the award and just inspire more good works in our community. Thank you.